Hey guys, Adrian here. Today we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing an icon software called Icon Lover by the guys over at Aha Soft. So I want to give them a uh, shout out for sponsoring this video. I was looking out, uh, you know, if you've ever been into design or anything of that sort, you know that icons are a kind of thing on their own. They, you know, these are images that are scaled down to a smaller size and they can make a big impression on whether it's an iPhone application or uh, whatever it may be. It's sort of a mini logo that represents your app or whatever it may be. And it, to make those, there's a lot of tons of tools out there. Some are more complex and some are, you know, uh, aren't basic enough. And I found this uh, by the guys again at Ahasoft Icon Lover. It allows you to create high quality icons, whether it's for Windows, Mac, Linux, or even the iPhone, which is what really stood out to me because I've been working on some design things lately. And it kind of ties in with Photoshop. If you have certain formats, you can convert. Uh, icon Lover will allow you to convert images straight to icon uh, supported format so they can, you know, be used as icon files. Uh, you can create, edit animated GIFs. GIFs, whatever you want to call them, support for Windows 8, Windows 7, uh, export icon to bitmap images, and so much more. And you can even convert icons between Windows and Mac OS, which is another huge feature that stuck out to me. So you can check it out here. Again, Aha Soft, the site link is up here, and you can uh, go ahead and uh, download it, and you can um, purchase it if you want the free, uh, the full version. To uh, you, know, you can try it out for a little bit. And here it is, Icon Lover. So what I can do here is it gives you a couple options right from the get-go. You can create a new icon. You can create a new icon from an image file. So let's say you have a logo already and you want to create an icon from that. You can scale it down and you know size it proportionally. Uh, you can open existing icon files, find icons in a folder, extract all icons from computer, which is a really awesome feature. Download icons from the internet, and Aha Soft actually provides tons and tons of icons on their site. But let's say I want to create an icon from scratch. I'm just going to show you how it would look like and what you have to do here. So what I really, really like about the app, and again, the pros, it has you know kind of a big interface and uh, has tons of options, but it's really it's still simple, and it gives you the options that most u users will understand. So first off, it gives you whether or not you want to build it for your Windows and web platform or the iOS platform, iPhone, iPad, iPod. From here, you can decide what your dimensions are. It has a preset dimension, so you already know you don't need to, you know, go look up or you don't need to try and fix your icon to proportional size. It gives you the preset dimensions for an icon. So in this case, I want to design an iPhone application icon, and that's what I've been kind of working on. So let's say I want to make one, and I, I can click here, and I said, okay. Now it gives me a perfect dimension of 57 by 57 that would look perfect on the iPhone here for an application icon. The bottom right, you get a preview. On the right here, you have your image, you can have multiple icon library on stacked on the right here, so if maybe you're working on multiple icons for an app suite or something of that sort. Now I'm just going to design a really simple icon just to show you how easy it is to make anything from that sort. And you have all these tools up here. I want to go ahead and go through these. You can do like new cursor. You can even make animated cursors because those are considered icon files as well. So if you've ever wanted to do something like that, um, make your own cursor, you can do all of that. You also have some other stuff like properties, etc. here. So this is the current pro project I'm working on, which is called New Icon 1. And let's say I can just use basic shape things. So let's say I want to make like a TV, for example, because one of the icons I was working before was a TV-based uh, icon, like a digital TV. Um, and again, I'm not any professional designer. This is just for uh, test purposes. What I like, it has this grid view. And you can see this as I go around. It goes it grid by grid, so you can get really precise images. And specifically with icons, you really want to be precise because you want it to be propor proportional. You want it to be... You know, obviously, these are smaller images, so when they scale up, you want them to look nice here. So I can create a big black box here to represent the TV. Uh, and you can see there, I can actually change the grid view. So maybe I want it to be, you know, more b bigger boxes in that example, or perspective grid. So you can really get uh, three-dimensional in terms of, like, how you're going to go about building your icon. And you can really, you know, uh, use a grid to kind of align it and outline your icon perfectly. Uh, and then let's say I just want to throw, like, uh, you can use this color picker here uh, inside of the TV. Again, this is no way by means, by no means a professional design. But let's say the TV looks something like this here. And then I use this rounded tool over here to make uh, a button or something. So let's say I want a power button right there. And then one more right here. One more similar to that. Whoops. Not what I want in control Z. And, um, well, can I get that proportional? So I... There you go. That would be good. And you can see on the bottom right here, you get what it would look like as an icon right there. So it's really, really simple. I mean, if you've had any image editing, you know, practice within any other app, this has the dead basic simple tools like filling, uh, paintbrush, and as well as that, you can get the specific paintbrush. So you can really custom design your icon. Again, this could be for Windows. This could be for... Uh, in this case, the iPhone, and you can just easily export these. You also have options like color gradients, replacing pixels, paint over pixels, transparency lock, and tons of other stuff here. If I go into the tools menu, you can see I have paint over, smooth resampling. So if I want to kind of smooth out the images, I can capture images, sort images. 
uh, if you have multiple, again, multiple icons you're messing with. And you can even add effects. So you could do stuff like drop shadows, aqua, opacity, uh, brightness, contrast. So let's say I want to do an aqua effect to this to make the TV look a little bit more cooler and more, you know, of a 3D type of perspective. I can change the highlight size to just let's lower the highlight size uh, and increase the reflection density. And I want the light color to be white, and I hit OK. And you can kind of see now that that TV has that kind of bulging effect, that glare effect. And I know it looks kind of crappy on the... Uh, the per you know the preview window but you can see here on the or not the preview window but the uh, actual work area but you can see here and down the actual icon thing it looks really really nice because again this is icons are really small files and are being scaled uh, you, you know this is obviously scaling it up so it's easier for you to edit precisely um, other than that you can also edit the image you can rotate it right rotate it left move it up and down I really like this because it gives you full control over the icon and you know you don't need to put things into separate layers it makes icon editing really simple really easy and again like I said you can make icons from images and when you're fully done and ready you can go over here to file you can save it as and then you can save it as a dot uh, ICO so it's already ready to be used as an icon file you can even go in here and export it to a current image or a portfolio image or you can even import images list as a new icon or an animation so you can do all sorts of stuff here you can edit gifs edit icons edit cursors icon lover in my book is one of the best and uh, easiest tools to use to edit icons and it definitely gets my recommendation for a download out there if you're interested in you know editing icons or if you've ever wanted to design if you're a designer looking for an easy tool to use to design iPhone app icons iPad app icons iOS in general or just for the web or Windows or Mac OS 10 whatever it is check it again check it out again icon lover from the guys over at aha soft thanks for watching